That's KOD here, and uh, this is where we left off in video three. We had basically created the Jumbo, Jumbo transaction, and we had created a menu, even though it's not formatted well. Um, we had a call to action button over here with some main text in the Jumbo transaction. Um, and we had plans of going down to recreate this section. Um, but before we do that, let's make a few changes and by the way as you can see I changed the background image um, I went to this website and just downloaded a free stock photo and used that instead it makes its text um, stand out better and it loads faster too because uh, the image size was actually much smaller we have our bootstrap documentation opened um, right on this side so before we go down to the lower section let's try and make this section look a little bit pretty like Let's try and improve the nav bar. Let's, let's start from there. So what we want to do is that we want to move the navigation towards the right in this case. So let's get it somewhere over here. Uh, to do that, let's go to the bootstrap documentation and let's go to components. If you remember, when we're building the navigation bar, we first went to nav bar. That's where we started. And we basically copied, copied the code over here uh, to set up our nav bar. I'm going to go to the nav section this time and when you go to the nav section it basically gives you um, CSS elements for positioning your text and so it shows you some of the available styles and so this is if you want to justify the content in the center of the page just as these elements have been done for us we actually want it at the end of the page towards the right so I'm going to go ahead and copy this code over here just the class I'm not copying everything so copy the class justify content end and I'm going to come here oops let me open my text editor sublime text open uh, desktop side there we go and I'm going to go to my index and that's my nav bar so my navigation bar starts over here and it ends right here let me just uh, it's probably redundant but let's just do it again now by ends so that it's clear. And I'm gonna paste this code that I copied right here, justify content end, right into the onto this section under the UL in the UL element tag. So there we go, justify content end. And I'll save that and let's see how it looks like now. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be working. Let's see what we did wrong. Your element just by content and actually I am going to try to move it into the div element and see if it makes a difference since these are actually sub elements there we go okay so that moves it to the other side and then we have uh, links over here and we have our buttons as you can see there's a problem with the line height over here but this time around I'm actually going to just use uh, some custom CSS and I'm going to target the UL element with a class nav bar nav or you can actually even target nav item in fact let's do that that's more specific just so that we don't overwrite anything we actually don't need this so I'm just going to go ahead and say it's a class so we use the dot nav item I'm going to do line height there we go and let's say 40 px Let's see how 40 pixels look. It seems balanced a bit, maybe 45. Okay, that seems to work. And if you've noticed, Jumbotron has a border radius, so it's a bit, it's rounded on the edges of Jumbotron. I actually don't like that. It's just a minor detail, but for some strange reason it bugs me. So I'm gonna do uh, border radius, and I'll say zero. No, no, nine, zero, there we go. And so as you see, that'll take out those curvy ends. Yes, and it's now straightforward. Okay, so we have a nav bar, we have our menu items, and we have our buttons on the side. And then we have our text, we have our call to action button right here with the letter more. Obviously, you can improve letter spacing in this text over here. Choose the fonts that you like uh, using Google Fonts. And you can replace this nav bar element with, let's say, this logo uh, if you prefer. Uh, but I'm going to move on to the main section, which is down here, and try to recreate some of these things. Now, Bootstrap has an element called container. And what container does is that it gives 
pattern on the sides of the page. So I'm actually just going to create an element and I'll show you how this works. So let's go back and right here navbar ends this is the jumbotron section. Let's go ahead and say let's call this uh, main text section. Poor name in but you get the point. And let me create dev element and let's say I create um, maybe an h let's go for an h2 an h2 element and then I create a paragraph element as well okay so let me copy this and put it right here and let's copy this and put that right here as well okay so we have some text in our div let's see how that looks like down there there we go as you can see, it actually hits the edges of the page. If I apply Bootstrap's container class, let's see what that does to it. So I'm going to apply a class of container. And you see all of a sudden it creates pattern on the sides. Now let's actually see what that looks like in the console. Should we draw on container section? You see, it actually sets the width, which is pretty much the same as restricting it on the side with pattern. But what it's really doing is it's setting the width uh, to this. And as you move into smaller screens, the width also changes. So as you can see, if we're in a screen that was 992 pixels, the width will actually decrease to 960 from 1140 on this. And it keeps decreasing 720 ATC. So it's pretty much a nice way to have your text centered in the middle of the page and to create pattern um, on the end. So there we are. But before we do that, let's go ahead and use another um, bootstrap style to center this. There we go, perfect. And so pretty much we've created this. Oh, we have our mission over here. Let's maybe create that using uh, another P element, paragraph element. And there we go, a mission. But let's give this a class of lead which is another bootstrap CSS element to place emphasis, uh, not you. Uh -oh. Where did the P go? Oh, I put it in the wrong section. It went all the way up there. So let's bring it down here to where it's supposed to be. And there we go. So we have our mission have the text right here and then we have this text now let's add this let's add this button this join us button we we'll still add it in the container section so tip button join us I would give it the BTN class and there you go we have the join us button right on this section right on this side Good. Now that we've completed the section, let's go on to one of the important sections, which is basically creating these elements we see over here. And I'm trying to keep these videos short, uh, so I'll actually do that in the next video.